Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So this was our first video of the day. This was over on Patreon. This was uh, a little a little tough uh, <laughs> going down some very dark roads, but that's really what this whole global system is. It's very, very, very dark. Oh, it's tough. I mean, we spent like two hours getting the nasty energy out of our house after doing this one. It, it was... It was tough. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's uh, interesting to see comments and somebody was just making comments about getting rid of demonic energies. But that's what Cindy and I do when we're not making videos. Right. That's literally what we what we do. We work with people uh, doing various forms of spiritual coaching, but energy work and clearing attachments and getting rid of demonic energies. And even before Cindy and I were together, I was part of a paranormal research group, and that was kind of my specialty, was going in after investigations and clearing places of demonic energies. So, yeah, the the Pope has nothing on us of any good sense, I guess you would say. I agree. <laughs> Does he really want to get rid of the demonic energies? I don't know. He, he would probably be just shooting himself in the foot I, I think he would be yeah he would be but anyway back to what's going on let's start with Nostradamus the the so many of these quatrains are ringing in my head they've been ringing in my head since since high school and this one the cruel sect of Muslims will come hiding weapons under their robes their leader will take Florence and burn it twice Sending ahead clever men without laws. This is, in my opinion, completely, and by the way, it's Century 10, Quatrain 33. Oh, that's, 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 that's another uh, little thing there to keep note of. Quatrain 33. Y yeah, no, what this is, this is the migrants. This is the migrants. And, you know, Florence and Central Italy burned twice. Um, actually, this little wiki here from nostradamusfandom.com has quite a few quatrains relating to uh, right now right 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 now and what it's talking all about is the softening upstage be before the invasion of europe and the invasion of the u.s um, by the BRICS nations china russia and a, a unified islam the whole reason why they're doing this in Israel right now is to unify Islam to come and just absolutely annihilate not just Israel, but also the U.S. and uh, all of the NATO nations. And there's so many of them right here that really are applicable from the Orient, from the East. Will come the African heart to make trouble to the Hadri or the Adriatic Sea, it's often been interpreted of those of the Adriatic and Romulus heirs. Now, Rome, Romulus, Romulus founder, Rome, and in so many ways, the Roman Empire has just simply morphed uh, into the Holy Roman Empire, into the British Empire, into the American Empire. So, I feel what they're talking about here is also the attack that's coming. And there is, we're so close to this. And there's so many of these quatrains that make me feel that, no, it's not going to be next year. It's this year. And here it's speaking of, accompanied by the Libyan fleet, temples of Malta and nearby islands will be abandoned. This one, the time will be filthy, pestilent, and violent. A terrible Muslim attack and invasion. Great disasters are made in April, and great persons will be ridiculed. You know, April is is now just a matter of, uh, you know, 26 days away or so. Yeah, it could go on because there's so many of these that feel applicable to these times. Meanwhile, London, police station on fire, 35 fire engines on the scene, 175 firefighters to fight f this blaze. This is a police station at, at Forest Gate in London. Uh, what they're doing now is they don't want to panic the public. A fire broke out at Forest Gate Police Station in East London earlier. 30-plus fire engines, 175 firefighters still fighting the fire. It is contained. What started it? Well, you know, this 
I'll, well, I'll let you guys listen. Good evening, my name's Dan Clark, and I'm the Acting Fire Commander of the Newham on Wolfen Forest. And I'm at, currently outside Forest Gate Police Station. I would like to start by thanking the London Fire Brigade for their swift response to the fire and their huge efforts to control the blaze. I'm glad to report that the building was evacuated properly and no one has been reported as injured. The fire has now been contained, and the cause of the fire is not being treated as suspicious. The cause is not suspicious at this stage. You know, they are covering up things so much right now because, you know, again, at, at the higher echelons, they're in on this. And to, to say this is not suspicious, uh, well, you know, I, I just don't believe them. Um, no, I don't either. This is all quite entertaining tonight, really. Yeah, and he's he's also nervous. He also feels put on the spot. He he's not comfortable with 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 making these statements. I think he knows that he's giving a load of crap. Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. It, it really it, it feels like it. Reykjavik, migrants storm the Icelandic Parliament as they debate tougher immigration laws. They demand housing and their families to join them in Iceland. This is going on all around uh, the world. In reality. This is getting to be uh, more and more common. It's it, it, there, We were talking to a family member today um, in one of our regular sessions, and they were saying that they're feeling that these sleeper cells, you know, the illegal migrants, the, the, the portions of them, again, it might only be 1%, half of 1%, one-tenth of 1%. According to some figures, there's 40 million illegal immigrants in the U.S. alone. So... It's massive. It's just massive. And the person was sharing that they feel that they're getting antsy and that they're not going to be able to contain them anymore. And here you have, uh, this is in Philadelphia, uh, this, this one man released footage of migrants hanging off the block of Philadelphia community. They're waiting for marching orders is what he feels. And he says, these these are not locals. These are migrants that came in that are mingling and waiting. Again, even if it's less than half of 1%, you are talking about massive numbers, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands that are are ready to go. And again, what's happening in Israel and in Gaza is all about just provoking them as, as far as the system can push them. And here you have London... Now, this does look peaceful, but, you know, the fire is not suspicious. Well, I don't know. Maybe somebody witnessed it. I don't know. Maybe somebody was going to have some hamburgers and just put on too much uh, of the liquid, you know, and got out of control. Never know. But we were showing this video earlier in the day. Look at this in London. You know, the, the police are just... They are so outnumbered, they're insignificant. This is part of the initial wave. When you see Texas Governor Abbott bragging about transporting over 104,000 migrants to sanctuary cities, and you have people that don't get it, and they're saying, good, send them off to D.C., good, send them off to New York, good, send them off to Chicago, Philly, Denver, L.A., All you're doing is spreading the sleeper cells out around the country so that they're going to be in their target cities to go when the orders are given. So, you know, you might think, okay, stick it to those left-leaning cities, but the reality is this is just part of the plan. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's it's a nasty plan, too, and they're definitely, they know what they're doing here, piece by piece, step by step. Yeah, I mean, and so many that are awake, it's just so incredibly obvious. Look at this. This is what Cindy was saying. She was saying, you know, what they're doing is getting us ready for nonstop, like martial law type of living, where you're just used to, okay, we go by the cops now, honey. Okay, they're just checking us. They're, it's okay. And now we got to go by the National Guard, honey. Oh, okay. Well, they're they're here for our security. Oh, wait a minute. Are you Mr. John Smith that made this tweet saying something something about Mr. Zuckerberg? 
or Elon Musk, ah, we need to speak to you over here. You know, that's what's next. And, and it's not that it's just uh, our police and our National Guard. Wait till it's, oh, <clears throat> now we got to clear it by the CCP, honey. <laughs> I, I agree. Totally agree. This is where we are going. This is where we are going. It's right here in front of our face. Meanwhile, we do see a lot in positions of power leaving and stepping down. This is Victoria Nuland. Uh, her departure from the post of U.S. Undersecretary for Political Affairs is that she advocated an escalation of the U.S. conflict with Russia. And amongst other things, so, you know, are some people found out or some people being forced to step down or some people feeling like, well, it's, it's time to disappear to some little island somewhere in Indonesia where nobody's going to go look for us. You know, I mean, it could be all of the above. Meanwhile, DOJ says the Chinese national has been arrested for alleged theft of AI related trade secrets from Google. Um, yeah, a software engineer at Google who was allegedly secretly working for two Chinese companies. Well, maybe you should check into the founders and, you know, the heads. Because this thing has been an operation at the highest, highest level. It's a top-down thing. It's a top-down thing. Harris County District Attorney Kim Og went to go vote and was told, no, you already did. And she said, no, I didn't. And said, no, we got checked off. You already did. No voter ID. Somebody just came in, said they were her, and they voted. Ah, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? You know, you get frisked when you go on a plane, but hey, you know, just walk over the border with an AK-47 and nobody will look. That seems to be coming quite frequent and regular. It is what it is. And as we were saying, all those commercials that say, cure your acne, but side effects may incur cancer. Some have died from... Yeah, a lab found cancer-causing benzene in common acne treatments, asked the FDA to recall the products. A little late now, you know, again, uh, <clears throat> we, we do not trust anything allopathic, uh, n no. Any, anything that, you know, unfortunately, we get suspicious when somebody has, you know, uh, an MD after their initials, mm -hmm. it's just saying. Well, you know, you, you really have you have to advocate for yourself is what you need to do. You got to understand the bigger picture and you really have to interrogate because there are some out there that are doing great things now exposing what's been going on. Uh, and they still have those MDs uh, after their their names. But then there's so many also that have been nothing but great salesmen making lots of commission and bonuses uh, off of others. You know, you get the picture. Meanwhile, Kitty says, nope, nope, you've already had too much. You are not having any more. I know what's better than you do. I think often nature does know <laughs> what's better for us, uh, certainly than at least our political leadership. I know. I definitely think our pets know better than us. Stay prepared out there, guys. Thank you so much for your support over on Patreon. Couldn't do it without you guys. Again, you could join Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. And when you do pay in advance for a year, it comes out to $10.80. And that's about 0.28 cents a day. Exclusive videos. It does support us uh, making these videos and support the awakening of as many as we can in the time that we have. Much love, source bless, and namaste. Namaste.